this passage that we have heard from the lips of Jesus given to us in the Gospel of John was realized in the life of that beautiful woman, Rita of Kasha. I've only been to Kasha once in my life, but it was a profound experience. It was, it's near to uh, the town in which St. Scholastica and St. Uh, Benedict were born, Norcia, in that part of Italy that is now quite thoroughly devastated by earthquakes. And Rita's was a life filled with earthquakes. She was born into a prosperous enough family, but certainly not one of the leading bigwigs in the region. Because at that time, nobility meant having a big horse with a big stick and a big sword and big tough guys behind you and being able to extort money out of the people that were passing through your lands. That's where nobility comes from, all the castles. They were basically like the center hideouts for legitimate people to extort money and protection money from the people passing through their lands as opposed to the bandits who just stole it. Anyway, she went and fell in love with one of these, one of the sons of one of these families that were constantly vying for power because she saw something in him, a gentleness, perhaps at least a sense of justice that others couldn't see. And she was one who had lived a life preparing to serve the Lord, but longing to have children, really feeling that that was her calling. And so marrying this man, she bore him two sons. But maleness in that time reverted to its pattern. And not only her husband, but her boys got caught up in all of this internecine tribal battles between the various families of the area. Violence was their way. And she was so upset with all of this. And you know, when you live lives of violence, the violence comes at home, you know, comes to the house. And she lived through the violence that was visited upon her by this passionate, unruly, abusive man that was her husband. And so Rita stands as a patroness of all women who find themselves in abusive relationships. He was killed in the course of the battles and she could see the same thing happening to her sons, but they were all caught up in the path of vengeance. And not only did she have to bury her husband, but she had to bury her sons. Marital turmoil became family turmoil. And with that burial of her last son, what was left for her? Actually, a new espousal. The espousal that had, with the one who had sustained her prayerfully so that she was known, even during the time of her abusiveness as being a pillar of holiness and care for other people. Rather, abuse makes people turn in on themselves and internalize the guilt and the, and, and, and the responsibility for those who are doing the abuse, huh? which is so unjust. She still lived a life of loving for others and for the poor, even though it cost her the, the anger of her husband and the dismissal of her boys. Yet the Lord sustained her through all of that and brought her to the place with the fulfillment of his plan that is announced here. Very truly, I tell you, you will weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn to joy. For in Christ, she discovered that a relationship of love is never to be abusive. That the giving of life is not predicated upon meekly accepting the injustice of others, but of continually standing in the presence of such an abuse and knowing one's dignity, being able to achieve a presence and a nobility that stood above all of the abuse and was able to be a witness, 
not of passivity and being a doormat for fidelity, but of strength and resistance that chose to see those members of her family as members of her family. What does Rita open our eyes to? Well, certainly her place is just packed with pilgrims. One of the central pilgrimage places in Italy, in Europe, as people journey to invoke her, especially under the, under the auspices of her being a patron of impossible causes. For through her, God continued to work all kinds of miracles of healing and of life. She then becomes, for all those who are caught in the intense difficulty that arises when families are torn apart by violence and abuse, by depression and pressure, by a society that tears apart the fabric, which seems to be an impossible way through of discovering meaning. She continues to act as an intercessor to the one who can work the miracle of joy that heals pain. There is something though that must be done and that is violence must be put to an end. Violence is never ever acceptable in any relationship of love, whether it be the violence of word, whether it be the violence of deed and hand, whether it be the violence of indif indifference. That is never, ever part of the plan of God for anyone in a relationship that is one of love. Rita demonstrates to us by the clarity of her suffering, not that that's okay, but how amazingly wrong that is and unjust to that miracle working woman of love. Yes, the Lord gave her the joy of her fidelity as mother and wife and gives her to us as a limpid sign of how we must not ever accept that kind of language of violence into our homes. The violence that comes from TV, the violence that comes from video games, the violence that comes from political wrangling or religious wrangling, that kind of violent dismissal of others is all part of that great chain that can lead to the horrible enchainment of families and of people in families, especially women, yes, but also men too, in a link of violence. Jesus went to the place of violence. Jesus broke the logic of violence, for in his innocence, he revealed to us how unjust and working of evil any violence is. He demonstrates to us on the cross how repugnant to the plan of God all hurting is. So, brothers and sisters, we have been redeemed by the one who has shown us the light of true love. We have been redeemed by the one who says with understanding that even though we journey through pain and suffering, joy will be ours. And we call out for the intercession of Rita that we might accept the gift of the Holy Spirit so that we never be the source of violence and abuse in anyone's life. And we pray through the intercession of Rita that women and also men, because men are also abused in homes, that anyone who finds themselves in abused situations may have the strength and the support to be protected and extricate themselves so that they may live already, enjoy the world that God has created to be a foretaste 
of the eternal joy of heaven. Amen.